When Christ came to these two disciples on the road to Emmaus, he made sense of their confusion. From being members of the coalition of the unwilling, they willingly enlisted as members in the order of the burning heart. They were men liberated from the prison of their own despair and hopelessness, who became inspired leaders. Then they drew near to the village where they were going, and he indicated that he would have gone farther. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. Perhaps there is no more poignant story of the restoration from the coalition of the unwilling than Jesus' interaction with Peter following the resurrection. When Jesus appears to his disciples on the beach, he questions Peter about his loyalty and commitment and elicits from him a response from the heart. When we become members of the order of the burning heart, we are permeated with a power that is beyond human resources. When Jesus Christ truly invades the lofty areas of human thought and intelligence, as well as the dark recesses of the subconscious mind, transformation and miracles do take place. If we will allow him, Christ will admit us to the order of the burning heart, and he will repattern our whole way of thinking.